Good morning. He is risen. Amen. Hallelujah. He is risen. And welcome to our Easter resurrection service. A bit different again than we've ever done before. But God is with us. His resurrection power is present with us in your homes. And I praise God for every one of you who have joined us. All of you who have joined us throughout the week as we have uh, went to the upper room, we went to the cross Friday, and now this morning to the empty tomb uh, just to praise and give thanks to our resurrected Savior. He is risen. A couple of announcements. Okay, that's that. Uh, not too much going on in the week ahead either. There were a couple of things that I wanted to put up, and I wanted to show you a picture and uh, Chuck will get that to you. And Joni Wayback, I mentioned her the other night at Monday, Thursday service. Look what she sent me. She got one of the nurses there to take uh, her picture. And on the right side is her flowers from her son. On the left side is the flowers that the Oaks sent her for her 90th birthday. And so just wanted to share that with you all. Thank you all for your cards and letters to her and to all the other ch rest of the church family as well. Uh, but anyway, 90 years for her. Praise the Lord. Also wanted to remind you, I didn't do it last week, but we are still on the reading plan. So we'll keep right on through it. We'll get back on it now this coming week. And uh, today's reading is Acts chapter 9. So I'll be preaching out of one of the next seven chapters uh, this coming uh, week. So we'll see how that goes. Amen. I pray that you're all ready uh, for our Easter worship and our celebration this morning. Mark Fessler is with me. He's going to assist me. Chuck is in the tech booth. Got everything rolling there. Praise the Lord. Uh, John is with us. He'll be uh, sharing, playing our piano and, and sharing some of the great hymns uh, this morning with us. So let's all stand. If you're able at home, let's turn our hearts to the Lord and Mark will have our opening reading. Good morning. Today I'm reading from Matthew 28, 1 through 8, and it is entitled, Jesus is Risen. Now after the Sabbath, as it is as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to look at the grave. And behold, a severe earthquake had occurred, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled away the stone and sat upon it. And his appearance was like lightning and his garment as white as snow. And the guards shook for fear of him and became like dead men. And the angel answered and said to the women, do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who has been crucified. He is not here, for he has risen, just as he said. Come, see the place where he was lying, and go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And behold, he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. And they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to report it to his disciples. Amen. Amen. Let's sing together. Sing it loud and with gusto.
hallelujah, let's pray together. You rose, Jesus, hallelujah. We praise you this day with all that we have and all that we are. And we pray and ask that your resurrected presence be with us here at the Oaks, be with every home, in every home, in our Oaks family and extended family, live stream family. Come, resurrected Jesus, and be present with us this glorious Easter morning. All that we offer to you, praying, singing, sharing your word, all of it we pray brings you great glory and honor this day. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. We've got a lyric video we're going to share. Just a beautiful song. That's worth a little bit of clapping at home, hey? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for that wonderful song. Right now, uh, we are going to take just a moment and greet one another. All of you live streamers right now is your time and your chance. Send up your little banners, your little, hey, greetings. And same to you, John. Greetings to you, my brother. Mark, greetings to you, my brother. Chuck, back there. Greetings to you. And just let them fly right now. Let them fly. Let everybody see that you're on, that you're joining them. You're joining together with them this Easter worship through our Oaks live stream. Just let them fly. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you for letting us be together, Jesus, via this live stream. Bind us together and just through your, through your mysterious spiritual presence with us. Uh, through this live stream. That's our heart cry and our prayer. Miss y'all. Truly, truly. Just miss y'all not being able right now to just go through the room. And just hug and love on one another in the name of Jesus. But we will again one day. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to go to prayer. And so Mark and I will share our prayer with you. Uh, I'll try to give you just a little time also, lift up special prayers on your heart this morning. And uh, when we finish, we'll join in the Lord's Prayer. I'll try to remember that. And we'll do our song of meditation, and John will play uh, uh, for us for that. So let's go to prayer together. We just continue. Father, in the name of Jesus, this Easter morning, in this a spirit of praise, and thanksgiving, what a week we've been through, Lord. Through our devotional together, our live streaming it, and our live streaming, our uh, prayer meeting, and our upper room of the Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday, Lord. And our hearts, our spirits are just so ready and rejoicing in this great and glorious resurrection morning. Hear our praises in Jesus' name. And Lord, we praise you for all of the families represented um, through this church and, uh, and watching on Facebook, live stream. Lord, we know this is a, a crazy time out there with the coronavirus effect, but we also know that you're still in control. Yes. May all of our families... And our time together as families, and our time together sharing with each other, calling each other, praying for each other, bring honor and glory to you, Lord. In Christ's name. Hear our prayer. Yes. Jesus, thank you for the, the horror that you went through for us these past three days especially. For bearing our sins in your body on the cross. For dying. For shedding your blood. Thank you for doing that for us. That our sins might be forgiven. Father we praise you for raising your son from the dead. Victor over all sin and death. Through repentance and faith. We too can rise to forgiveness, rise to new life, resurrected life through your son, Jesus Christ. 
I pray that be so for every single person uh, listening, watching right now, wherever they might be. Holy Spirit, and we know now you come and you fill us. You overfill us. That's our heart cry today as well. To overflow with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That we truly can share the Easter message wherever we go in your power, Holy Spirit. Hear our prayer in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for all the churches that are live streaming their celebration of this resurrection day. It's a uh, it's different. It's a little weird feeling. But Lord, we pray that as many churches that can are still sending the word out. We pray that many ears hear it and are touched and affected by this day of celebration. Please, our extended family, Lord, who need a touch from you this, this day, a special touch from you, who are struggling, hurting, I just need showers of your grace and your mercy and your healing. They're on our hearts and we take a moment and lift them to you in Jesus' name. I especially pray right now, Lord, for, for those on the front lines in the healthcare industry, whether that's in hospitals, clinics, departments. Yeah. Lord, I, uh, I can think of several from our church, but I'll, uh, I'll leave it up to our Facebook congregation out there to, uh, to mention the names of those in healthcare that are, uh, need your protection and need your, uh, Need your peace about them as they do their job to, uh, to help others at this time. So lift up the names of those out there that, that you know of. Go ahead and put them on Facebook. For our president, President Trump, Vice President Pence, the decisions that they are making and have to make in the weeks ahead, Lord, as we find our way forward. Bless all of our leaders. Um, Governor Pritzker, all of them, Lord, give them wisdom, we pray, and discernment in Jesus' name. Lord, I lift up our missions and missionaries that we support that are still doing your work and still uh, trying to figure out how to get through this. In our community, we lift up The Galesburg Rescue Mission, the Defenders of Freedom Veterans Ministries, even the Galesburg Christian School, the food pantries of Rova and Williamsfield, for Bill Allison, for Peter Lindell, and for Stan with Man in the Mirror. And those in foreign lands, Lord, wherever they may be at this time, Guide and protect them. Be with Bob and Jean. Be with Brenda Lewis. Joy and Liliana in India. Sandeep and Dina in India. Stephanos and Magda in Greece. Bill and Susan from South Africa. For Jeff and Shauna. For Marcus and Ann. Special prayers for Doug. For Holly. And for Tim and Naomi, Lord, be with them all. For the persecuted church, not able to worship this Easter Sunday like we do. But Lord, we pray just for your resurrection, presence and power in them all over the world. In Jesus' name. I lift up our armed forces, whether they are at home or abroad. Wherever they may be, may they also be able to celebrate this resurrection day yes. special special prayers of protection for those in dangerous territories and uh, just be with their hearts be with their minds and let them know that you are with them in Christ's name mm -hmm.
Thank you for the Oaks Community Church, Lord. Thank you for letting us stream this and, and, and helping us rise up to continue to minister and continue to serve and continue to glorify you during these days. Be with us. Uh, help us uh, to be faithful to sow the seeds of the gospel of your son, Jesus Christ. Help us to continue to grow together in the oaks of righteousness, your planting, that you may be glorified in you alone. And we pray and ask it all in Jesus' name, our resurrected Savior. Amen. Let's join together and pray the prayer our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Chuck just told me we got shut down for a, one of our songs that we used, but we're pressing on. We're back on again, and we're going to have our offering right now. And Mark will get that for us. And uh, Owen, Owen Corning Sr. here, he wanted to be a part of the offering time this morning. So I told him he could be. And uh, he just wanted to be sure that you all know uh, where to send your tithe. The Oaks Community Church, 1868 Congregation Road, uh, Dehenda, Illinois. So Owen Sr. has that for us uh, this morning. Thank you for your faithfulness, uh, your tithes and offerings, and God has certainly been good to us and blessed us. And there's this week's uh, allotment. But I noticed another tithe up here, Mark. It looks like at the Oaks, even the Easter Bunny has been here and left his tithe. Oh, wow. As you can see, the Easter Bunny is a tither. Wow. Praise the Lord for that. So uh, let's share our doxology together. We praise you, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, blessed Trinity. We praise you in all your fullness and all your majesty and all your mystery and all your glory. We praise you, Lord God. We praise you especially right now for your financial provision that comes to us, pressed down, shaken together, running over, flowing into our laps. Thank you, Lord. We return to you now our tithes and our offerings. We lay them here at your altar. We pray for your help to see that we use them for your glory and the advancement of your kingdom right here at the Oaks, in our surrounding community, and in all the world. We pray it in the name of Jesus, your only begotten Son, our Savior, our Lord. Amen. And if you are standing for that, you can be seated. Uh, we're going to get going to the Word now, and it's going to be something different. And I often do something different on Easter Sunday. And uh, this is certainly going to be that case today. And uh, 
I want to introduce it just a little bit to you. About a month ago, uh, I was in my truck. I was listening to Moody Radio, and this man came on and started uh, read a part of a story called The Ragman by Walter Wangeren Jr. I'd never heard it before. And as I guess it's about 35, 36 years ago, he wrote it. It touched my heart so deeply uh, that the Lord just put on my heart to share it uh, with you uh, on Easter Sunday. So I have planned that uh, all along. And I want to give Walter Wangren uh, credit. Uh, it's his story. At the end, I will talk a, f- a bit more about it and uh, uh with you. Um, one other thing I wanted to say also, I'm trying to think what I was supposed to say. Uh, you have your rag, all of our, most of our church, if you're on our mailing list, you have uh, your rag and you have a, a handkerchief. And I just invite you to have those out and uh, we'll be using those uh, at the end of our service this morning. So Mark is going to come up. He's going to read the scripture. I'm going to get uh, changed a little bit. And then uh, we'll just share this beautiful ragman story. And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a root out of a parched ground. He has no stately form or majesty that we should look upon him nor appearance that we should be attracted to him. He was despised and forsaken of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And like one whom men hide their face, he was despised and we did not esteem him. Surely our griefs he himself bore and our sorrows he carried. Yet we ourselves esteemed him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was pierced through for our transgressions he was crushed for our iniquities the chastening for our well-being fell upon him and by his scourging we are healed all of us like sheep have gone astray each of us has turned to his own way but the Lord has caused the iniquity of us all to fall on him he was oppressed and he was afflicted Yet he did not open his mouth like a lamb that is led to slaughter. And like a sheep that is silent before it shears, so he did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away. And as for his generation who considered that he was cut off out of the land of the living... For the transgression of my people to whom the stroke was due. His grave was assigned with wicked men, yet he was with a rich man in his death, because he had done no violence, nor was there any deceit in his mouth. But the Lord was pleased to crush him, putting him to grief. If he would render himself as a guilt offering, he will see his offspring, he will prolong his days, And the good pleasure of the Lord will prosper in his hand. As a result of the anguish of his soul, he will see it and be satisfied. By his knowledge, the righteous one, my servant, will justify the many, as he will bear their iniquities. Therefore, I will allot him a portion with the great, and he will divide the booty with the strong, because he poured out himself to death and was numbered with the transgressors. Yet he himself bore the sin of many and interceded for the transgressors. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I ask at this time that you uh, touch the hearts, souls, and minds of those listening, that the words of the Lord from Isaiah... um, just make us a little bit different today, Lord. Make us, make us be aware of what you did through the death and now this resurrection. And that you bore all of our sins. Um, 
by fulfilling this plan. So, Lord, be with us now as we uh, continue with this service. Um, guide us, keep us through it. May we take it and live boldly for you uh, for today and every other day of this year. May we be Easter people all year long. In Christ's name I ask. Amen. Hello? Oaks live stream family, are we back? We are not going to let the devil get this, right? Amen. We're going to start over. And uh, again, Walter Wangerin wrote this story, The Ragman. And it touched my heart. I hope it touches yours. I don't know how far we got into it before uh, we lost it. But let's start over again and uh, uh, just help, uh, help us tell the Easter story through uh, his eyes. And just pray uh, that we get through it. Because I think it's a word that we all can hear and we all can respond to uh, this Easter morning. Let me pray. Father, please bless the word here, this, the word that I share through the ragman. Help it to go through all the way. And that every heart, mind, and ear would be open to receive this word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I saw a strange sight. I stumbled upon a story most strange, like nothing in my life, my street sense, my sly tongue had ever prepared me for. Hush, child, hush now, and I will tell it to you. Even before the dawn, one Friday morning, I noticed a young man, handsome and strong, walking the alleys of our city. He was pulling an old cart filled with clothes, both bright and new. And he was calling in a clear tenor voice, rags. Ah, the air was foul. And the first light filthy to be crossed by such sweet music. Rags, new rags for old. I take your tired rags, rags. Now this was a wonder, I thought to myself. For the man stood six feet four, and his arms were like tree limbs, hard and muscular, and his eyes flashed intelligence. Could he find no better job than this, to be a ragman in the inner city? I followed him. My curiosity drove me, and I was not disappointed. Soon the ragman saw a woman sitting on her back porch. She was sobbing into a handkerchief, sighing and shedding a thousand tears. Her knees and elbows made a sad X. Her shoulders shook. Her heart was breaking. The ragman stopped his cart. Quietly, he walked to the woman, stepping round tin cans dead toys, and pampers. Give me your rag, he said gently, and I will give you another. He slipped the handkerchief from her eyes. She looked up, and he laid across her palm a linen cloth so clean and new that it shined. She blinked from the gift to the giver. Then, as he began to pull his cart away, the ragman did a strange thing. He put her stained handkerchief to his own face, and then he began to weep, to sob as grievously as she had done, his shoulders shaking, yet she was left 
without a tear. This is a wonder I breathed to myself. And I followed the sobbing ragman like a child who cannot turn away from mystery. Rags, rags, new rags for old. In a little while, when the sky showed gray behind the rooftops, and I could see the shredded curtains hanging out black windows, the ragman came upon a girl whose head was wrapped in a bandage, whose eyes were empty. Blood soaked her bandage. A single line of blood ran down her cheek. Now the tall rag man looked upon this child with pity. And he drew a lovely yellow bonnet from his cart. Give me your rag, he said, tracing his own line down her cheek. And I'll give you mine. The child could only gaze at him while he loosened the bandage, removed it, and tied it to his own head, the bonnet he set on hers. And I gasped at what I saw. For with the bandage went the wound. Against his brow it ran a darker, more substantial blood. His own. Rags! Rags! I take old rags! Cried the sobbing, bleeding, strong, intelligent ragman. The sun hurt both the sky now and my eyes. The ragman seemed more and more to hurry. Are you going to work? He asked a man who leaned against a telephone pole. The man shook his head. The ragman pressed him. Do you have a job? Are you crazy? Sneered the other. He pulled away from the pole, revealing the right sleeve of his jacket flat, the cuff stuffed into the pocket. He had no arm. So said the ragman, Give me your jacket, and I will give you mine. So much quiet authority in his voice. The one-armed man took off his jacket. So did the rag man. And I trembled at what I saw. For the rag man's arm stayed in its sleeve. And when the other put it on, he had two good arms, thick as tree limbs. But the rag man had only one. Go to work, he said. After that, he found a drunk lying unconscious beneath an army blanket. An old man hunched, wizened, and sick. He took that blanket and wrapped it around himself. But for the drunk, he left new clothes. And now I had to run to keep up with the rag man. Though he was weeping uncontrollably and bleeding freely at his forehead, pulling his cart with one arm,
stumbling for drunkenness, falling again and again, exhausted, old, old and sick. Yet he went with terrible speed on spider's legs. He skittered through the alley in the city this mile and the next until he came to its limits. And then he rushed beyond. I wept to see the change in this man. I hurt to see his sorrow. And yet I need to see where he was going in such haste. Perhaps to know what drove him so. The little old rag man. He came to a landfill. He came to the garbage pits. And I waited to help him in what he did. But I hung back. Hiding. He climbed a hill. With tormented labor. He cleared a little space on that hill. Then he sighed. He lay down. He pillowed his head on a handkerchief and a jacket. He covered his bones with an army blanket. And he died. Oh, how I cried to witness that death. I slumped in a junk car and wailed and mourned as one who has no hope because I had come to love the ragman. Every other face had faded in the wonder of this man. And I cherished him. But he died. I sobbed myself to sleep. I did not know. How could I know. That I slept through Friday night. And Saturday. And it's night too. But then. On Sunday morning. I was wakened by a violence. Light. Pure, hard, demanding light slammed against my sour face. And I blinked and I looked and I saw the first wonder of all. There was the rag man folding the blanket most carefully, a scar on his forehead, but alive. And besides that, healthy. There was no sign of sorrow or age and all the rags that he had gathered shined for cleanliness. Well then, I lowered my head and trembling for all that I had seen, I myself walked up to the rag man. I told him my name was shame. For I was a sorry figure next to him. Then I took off my clothes in that place. And I said to him, with dear yearning in my voice, dress me.
He dressed me. My Lord, he put new rags on me. And I am a wonder beside him. The rag man. The rag man. The Christ. My Christ. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Thank you. For the rag man. The Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. The rag man is the story of the Christ. It's the Easter story. As he comes and he gathers up our sin, our sorrow, our weeping, our wounds, our pain. And he gathers it unto himself. And he takes it to the cross. And he wraps himself in it. And he dies. The price of our sin and our sorrow, our pain, cost him his life on Friday. But praise God, our glorious father, that Sunday, Easter Sunday came and he raised his son to life, new life, resurrected, glorious and victorious over all sin and all death. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Oh, I can't hear you. Send it up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Send them up on your live stream. Hallelujah. 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 The rag man, the rag man, the Christ. But the Easter story is not done there. The rag man, the rag man, the Christ, my Christ, and your Christ. See, the Easter story is our story too. As we bring to him our sin, our sorrow, our wounds, our weeping, our heartache, our hopelessness. This Easter morning, it's time for you to take up your rag. And all of you in our mailing list at the Oaks, you have one of these. Your rag. I invite you to hold it up. What is it? What sorrow, what heartache, what pain does it represent today? Wouldn't you like to take your tired, dirty rag and give it to the rag man, the Christ, this day? Well, I invite you to do that right now. If you're able, if you're able to kneel, why don't you kneel right now? If not, just put your feet flat on the floor if you're sitting. Hold your rag. Hush, child. Hush now. Rags. Rags. I take tired, old rags. Let him take it. Just give it to him. Drop it. Let him have it. Whatever it is this Easter morning. Hush, child. Hush. Rags. Rags. New rags for old. I take tired, dirty rags and give you bright and new. Take your new rag, your handkerchief, bright and new. 
hold it in your hand, maybe wipe your, wipe your brow with it. Receive his, cl- his cleansing and his cleanness now. Why don't you say this with me? He dressed me. My Lord, he put new rags on me. And I am a wonder beside him. The rag man, the rag man, the Christ, my Christ, your Christ. Hallelujah and happy Easter. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for this story. And I pray for every single one in our live stream family right now at the Oaks that they have taken their rag and given it to you, Lord Jesus, and taken up their clean, new, bright, and new rag as a reminder to hold it, to use it, to remind us that through you, Lord Jesus, your shed blood, we are clean and new. And it is a glorious Easter day for us all. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. We're going to share a song together. And this is a hymn, so we know that they won't close us down on this one. Sing it with all your heart. us all and we are clean and new we are a wonder beside him and i pray it be so for all of you in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit and i'm gonna have a little bit of fellowship and Joni has prepared special fellowship for me today oh thank you mark for keeping that all clean and look what i have oh my i might share one of them or two look at that Thank you, Lord. So, God bless you. 
Hope you have wonderful fellowship at your home today also. Love you. Happy Easter.